the H1B guy here. And today, the H1B guy grades. February 2024, Visa Bulletin predictions versus the actual bulletin released. Find out what I got right, what I got wrong, and my final grade. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention the H1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues in the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. If I can help you, please reach out. I'd love to hear how. And you can book an appointment directly with me via the h1bguy.com. Today's post is brought to you by Syndesis, the ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. By perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment app phase of the labor certification process. And by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa-related challenges? Don't leave your fate up to chance. Your partner, Mob Squad, has a solution. Join the squad. Well, as I mentioned, today I'm going to grade what the H-1B guy forecasted for February 2024's Visa Bulletin versus the actual February 2024 Visa Bulletin that was released by the U.S. Department of State. For those of you new to this channel, each month I predict employment-based preferences as it relates to the monthly visa bulletin. Once the monthly visa bulletin has been posted by the Department of State, I create a follow-up post in the form of the H-1B guy grades to find out how I did with my predictions for the month. So let's jump right into the results for the February 2024 visa bulletin that released on Friday, January 12th, 2024. The final election dates for India and EB1 predicted September 1st, 2020, actual September 1st, 2020. No forward movement, my prediction was correct. For India, EB2 predicted March 1st, 2012, actual March 1st, 2012. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. For India, EB3 predicted June 1st, 2012, actual July 1st, 2012. 30 days of forward movement, and my prediction was 30 days under. For final election dates for China, and EB1 predicted July 1st, 2022. Actual July 1st, 2022. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. For China, and EB2 predicted January 1st, 2020. Actual January 1st, 2020. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. For China, and EB3 predicted September 1st, 2020. Actual September 1st, 2020. No forward movement in my prediction was correct. For final election dates for Philippines and EB2 predicted November 1st, 2022. Actual November 15th, 2022. 14 days of forward movement in my prediction was 14 days under. For Philippines and EB3 other workers predicted May 1st, 2020. Actual May 1st, 2020. No forward movement in my prediction was correct. For final election dates for all chargeability in EB2, predicted November 1st, 2022. Actual November 15th, 2022. 14 days of forward movement, and my prediction was 14 days under. For all chargeability EB3, predicted August 1st, 2022. Actual September 1st, 2022. 31 days of forward movement, and my prediction was 31 days under. All chargeability EB3 other workers predicted September 1st, 2020. Actual September 1st, 2020. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. All chargeability EB4 predicted May 15th, 2019. Actual May 15th, 2019. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. And for final election dates for Mexico and EB4 predicted May 15th, 2019. Actual May 15th, 2019. No forward movement in my prediction was correct. Moving on to dates filing for India and EB1, predicted January 1st, 2021, actual January 1st, 2021. No forward movement in my prediction was correct. For India and EB2, predicted July 1st, 2012, actual May 15th, 2012. No forward movement in my prediction was 47 days over. 
For India and EB3 predicted October 1st, 2012, actual August 1st, 2012. No forward movement and my prediction was 61 days over. For dates filing for China and EB1 predicted January 1st, 2023, actual January 1st, 2023. No forward movement and my prediction was correct. For China and EB2 predicted June 1st, 2020, actual June 1st, 2020. No forward movement was correct. For China in EB3 predicted July 1st, 2021. Actual July 1st, 2021. No forward movement and my prediction was correct. For dates filing for Philippines in EB2 predicted February 15th, 2023. Actual February 15th, 2023. No forward movement and my prediction was correct. For Philippines EB3 other predicted May 15th, 2020. Actual May 15th, 2020. No forward movement in my prediction was correct. For dates filing for all chargeability in EB2 predicted February 15th, 2023. Actual February 15th, 2023. No forward movement in my prediction was correct. For all chargeability in EB3 predicted February 1st, 2023. Actual February 1st, 2023. No forward movement in my prediction was correct. All chargeability EB3 other workers predicted December 15th, 2020. Actual December 15th, 2020. No forward movement and my prediction was correct. All chargeability EB4 predicted September 1st, 2019. Actual September 1st, 2019. No forward movement and my prediction was correct. And for dates filing for Mexico in EB4 predicted September 1st, 2019. Actual September 1st, 2019. No forward movement in my prediction was correct. And finally, my forecast for the Visa Bulletin release day. My three prediction dates were Thursday, January 11th, 2024, Friday, January 12th, 2024, and Monday, January 15th, 2024. The actual release day, Friday, January 12th, 2024. I was correct on 21 out of 27 predictions from the forecast of the February 2024 Visa Bulletin, grading out at 78%. As I expected during last month's grade, I thought we'd see a very similar pattern with very little to no forward movement for February from January's Bulletin. I expect that pattern to continue for March's Visa Bulletin with forward movement in very few categories. And I think we'll potentially see a wider range of forward movement in April. For now, welcome forward movement and final action dates for India EB3, Philippines EB2, and all chargeability EB2 and EB3. We'll see if this trend continues quarterly over the next two months. For the full post on the H1B Guy grades, February 2024, Visa Bulletin Predictions versus the actual Bulletin released, please check out the H1BGuy.com. A reminder that today's post was brought to you by Syndesis, the ideal plan B for unskilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. If you're facing an H1B denial or OPT expiration, don't get caught off guard. Make sure you have a plan B and Syndesis is your answer. They'll gladly help you navigate the process, and if you'd like to find out if you qualify, please be sure to use the link in the video description below, and someone from Syndesis will be in touch. By perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. If you're looking to reduce your costs and overhead associated with perm labor certification recruitment advertising, let perm-ads.com help you. And by Mob Squad. Are you a technology professional facing U.S. work visa related challenges? Don't leave your fate up to chance. Our partner, Mob Squad, has a solution. Mob Squad helps technology professionals facing U.S. work visa related uncertainty remain working with their current U.S. employer near shore from Canada, as well as technology professionals from around the world who are seeking to find a rewarding opportunity in North America. Through their partnership with the Canadian government, they can obtain a Canadian work permit for you and your spouse in as little as four to six weeks. So whether you're looking to stay working with your current U.S. company or you want to find a new opportunity in Canada, please find out how the team at Mob Squad can help you via the link in the video description below. Join the squad. Just wanted to ask you again to please like this video, 
subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube, and click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content here to this channel. If you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H1B Guy, your global source for all things H1B.